I'm Alberto from Cryptes Cohort 1, and I'm working as Senior Food Technologist in the Food Innovation Team of Mass University. I'm from Spain, and what made me come to literally the other side of the world was the possibility to be involved in a great variety of food innovation and new product development projects. Here at the Food Innovation Team, and more specifically at Food Pilot, we help the food industry to innovate and to create new products. We have the capacity to create, to develop almost any type of food product from 1 to 100 kilograms. We get constantly uh, projects from big companies or to startups. And we have an international team, including uh, interns from all over the world, working in various exciting projects. If you're beginning with this, congratulations. You're about to start one of the best food innovation master programs in the world. Please try to make the best of it and enjoy the journey. If you have just finished with this, congratulations indeed. I hope you enjoyed your graduation and you have just received one of the best trainings in the world. So now you're fully prepared to take any role in an university, in a research institute, in any industry or company, or even create your own company. Either you are a student or a graduate, please join FIBDA. As a student, we are there to help you get the best internships and the most interesting projects during your studies. As a graduate, we are there to help you find the job you like and to improve in your career. Hello everyone, my name is Elise. I'm, I'm uh, a member of FIBDA, I'm from the FIBDIS cohort 2 and um, I'm here in New Zealand, I'm doing my PhD, I'm in the final year of my PhD and um, <clears throat> it's been a very great uh, journey and I got this opportunity because of my FIBDIS experience and um, I do hope that you um, use all your uh, experience from FIBDIS to get um, exciting opportunities as well and um, I hope that you join the FIPTER and look out for uh, the job opportunities that FIPTA will be putting up as well and PhD opportunities and I, I, I wish you all the best in all your endeavors and um, um, I hope that you um, all go out there and find exciting jobs or whatever you're going to do and um, if you want to do a PhD I encourage you to go for it it's exciting and it's um, um, it's been a great journey, and I, I, I'll always say thanks to Fibdis for bringing me this far. Thank you. Yes. Hey everyone, uh, my name is Laura Murillo. I'm from Costa Rica, and I'm from Cohort Five. Um, well, I wanted to tell you a little bit about my job. Um, here I am in the. University of Costa Rica in um, the Liberia campus, which is um, not the, the one at, in the capital, but it's sort of like a regional campus. Here I work as an invited professor. Uh, basically what I do is I work, um, well, 50% of my time I have to teach. Uh, right now I'm teaching the food microbiology course for food engineering students and also sort of like a service um, for other um, for other careers, like other programs, uh, like a very beginners in food engineering uh, topics uh, class. Um, then with the other 50% of my time, I do a little bit of research. Currently, I want to go into a little bit more like, a, let's say, biotechnology and functional foods. Um, but also I have like uh, several um, like social, like community work projects, which is a way in which the university gives back to the community. Uh, and then there's like a whole other, like more stuff like paperwork and, you know, professor stuff. Um, how did FIBDES help me get my position? Well, basically it was like the main requirement for me because I needed to do some sort of postgraduate studies abroad. And um, I chose FIPDES because I really, really wanted to uh, do the program since like, I don't know, when it came out. Um, I had my eye on it and then everything just worked out perfectly for me to go and do the FIPDES uh, program and then come back and work here in the university. Um, also, okay, so you wanted some tips for the new people. I think the first one, for me is um, get to know each other. 
uh, you're a very large and diverse group and I think it's very important for you to not only you know also do you know go to all the classes and do all the work but then to get to know each other then also try to get to know people from you know the places that you're going to be in um, please do your paperwork in time uh, don't give extra work to all the FIPTES, um, to all the FIPTES employees, all the, the group. Um, then try to get the, to know the, you know, make some time to like, after you do all your homeworks and you study for your exams, um, try to have some time to get to know the cities where you're going to live, um, you know, experience, try all the food. For me, it's all about food and you know walk around and um, get you know try to get some nice memories for whenever wherever you're gonna go after um this journey that you're about to begin and then also i wanted to invite you um to um, support and join fipta i think it's a great opportunity like a great way to you know stay in touch with each other um and you never know maybe right now you don't see much to it but then Later on, um, you know, life gives many turns, and you might um, get some use out of it. I think it's, I think it's great, and um, I wish I could be there with you. I love FIP this week, uh, but anyways, you know, try to have some fun this week because it's gonna get a little bit rocky at the beginning. Believe me, brace yourselves. And um, hi to everyone over there in Paris, all my friends from FIP this. Um, I hope to see you soon here in Costa Rica. You're invited to come whenever you want. Ciao. Hi, Fiftis family. It's Marilis here. I am a graduate of the fourth Fiftis batch. And I think so far I'm the only Estonian who has gone through our master program. Uh, since graduation, in the last two years, so many exciting things have happened in my life. I started and failed the, my first startup, then uh, did a little internship, and after that did an entrepreneurship school in Singularity University in Silicon Valley, after which I founded and found my next startup, which is called Nonfood. And at Nonfood, we make radically sustainable food from algae. So that's, that's some food innovation right there. And FIPTIS has helped me a lot to achieve what I've achieved so far, and there's lots more to do. I found friends that I can have for all my life. I can know I can depend on them. I made amazing connections and I learned a lot. And what helped me in practical terms were all the scholarship that allowed me to put money aside so that I could start to do what I really want to do. And it, it gave me the freedom to not go and have a job right away, instead of creating one. And for all of you, if I had to give one suggestion, that would be to say yes to everything. Say yes to everything that is coming up. And just keep in the back of the mind that it's going to be so many experiences that it's going to feel like a blink of an eye. It's going to go past so fast that you'll be there in two years just wondering how how did all this just ended but it didn't end because we're still a big family we keep strong contacts and in order to know all of you in two years in one year or tomorrow please do join the alumnus association but even if you don't we'll see each other anyway because Viptus is just ingrained and inbred in all the food industries, societies, and the food innovation of the future. Have a lovely year, and the ones who are already graduating, good luck, do what your heart tells you to do. Hello, my name is Zeynep Birsan. I'm a graduate from FIPTES Master's program, like the, from the first batch, and currently I'm working for Amazon uh, as a food safety manager since my graduation. I'm working as a food safety manager at Amazon. Uh, my team is responsible for all the food products offered on Amazon websites in EU to make sure that they are compliant with local requirements, safe 
and meeting the customer expectation. I think one of the biggest advantages of PIPDES is its students. Um, so we are a bunch of people coming from different backgrounds, different cultures, and but we all are passionate about food and we all are passionate about uh, to learn from each other. And I think it really helped me at my current job because here I'm working with people from different backgrounds, different cultures, different level of education and it taught me to understand their, to understand them better and to benefit from their experiences better and to leverage each other and actually enjoy those differences to, de de to deliver better work, better results. My first advice to, that, to the new batch would be like enjoy this two years ahead of you because this is going to be one of the best experiences that you will ever have. Spend time with your classmates, spend time with your professors, lecturers, like the, you will learn a lot of things from your lecturers but you will learn more from your classmates and from the people that you will study together in, in different countries. So like try to learn from their experience, culture, because this is what, I think this is what enriches you a lot while studying like uh, sleepless nights and like the working study for the final exams uh, but you will learn more from your classmates and travel a lot and eat a lot as well <laughs> so you will have two amazing years uh, during your masters and once it is over you don't want it to be over so i recommend you to join to fit the alumni group and this is how you can stay connected to your masters classmates and other graduates.